In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a ship in Minecraft. And in particular, we're actually going to be doing a cog today, or at least something that was based on a cog and has kind of turned out a little bit different, but it's a very simple sailed, square rigged uh, type of ship uh, that could be used as a trade ship as well. Now, if you're new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, guys, if you're interested in more ship tutorials, I'll leave a link in the card above and also in the description if you guys want to check that out at any point. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so here we are on my tutorial world. So I'm going to be building on my flat world uh, for this entire tutorial. It just makes it a lot easier for you guys to see where everything is at and where everything is at in relation to, for example, this square. So this is something I've been using recently. Um, it seems to work quite well, I think, uh, in order to see where all the dimensions are and how close it is to things. Um, so anyway guys, in terms of the dimensions of this one, it is at the total length 19 blocks wide. So this is it, this is this square that we've got here. So not, this square is 19 blocks wide and it's actually 27 blocks going back. So that includes uh, obviously all of the all of the points, all of the blocks that are in there. Now that's because of the sails where they actually stick out over. So that is the edge block that you've got here. So this one's actually at the top that goes there. Um, in terms of the actual ship part of it itself, that is five blocks wide. Uh, but if you count where we've got the shrouds as well, that's seven blocks. So you've just got these two bits uh, kind of extra on the sides. Most people will be using the five block wide thing. If you've got it docked, for example, uh, usually you'll end up having that at the ninth block. So you have a block gap and then you can have a little walkway, obviously going into the middle part of it at least. So that's where we get that. Um, so yeah, I do recommend building this this kind of box, but if you're building it in the water, you need to know where that is. So let's go over that part of it. If we grab some water here, nice and easy. I actually do it on the first two layers is where I've got mine. So the second layer here, that's where I put my water layer. Um, so what does that actually mean for you? If you've got your blocks uh, in water, grab a block and just go down with one or, or two in total. So you've got one, two. So it's completely underwater. That is going to be your first layer. That's where that layer is. Um, so you can at least use it that way. You can, of course, put it up a little bit higher now that we've even got the water working with ladders, which I found out the other day and was so confused that that was even a thing. Um, but yeah, you could it could do that if you wanted to. It just I find that it doesn't look quite right with the back piece. So that's why I've kind of gone with these two layers down here. Also, feel free to mix and match the materials. Uh, just the ones that I'm using are just, well, the ones I'm using. So you can do whatever you want, especially with this colored strip. You can switch out for whatever you want at all. I just thought red looked quite nice. Uh, and it's always quite nice to have something that's a little bit different in there as well. So, um, if you guys are yeah, going to be building it from the front, the bow spirit, this is this bit here, the bit that sticks out. So that of course goes right to the edge of our square. Now inside the square, right in the middle of that 19 wide square, uh, it's actually a total of 9 blocks back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 blocks. And then you get the first slab, which is going to be our part of our layer one. So that's where the front of it is in case you want to really move that up into port uh, and have this part of it sticking over onto your roads or anything like that. Um, and from the back part of it, if you are building this one the other way around, so it's kind of, you know, uh, reversed in, uh, then that's only got uh, from the, the back line. That is exactly where it hits. So, um, yeah, if you and, and the only bit underwater would, of course, be this bit which will just be back so this bit just sticks out over by one block so that's it for the intro kind of part of uh, kind of like the sizes and all of that stuff so let's get on to layer number one okay and now for layer number one so guys if you've built the square uh, that would just be just as a reminder although the water layer will be at this level or layer two and and uh, and stuff and uh, so you'll be going just down to this block for your starting block uh the square i have placed obviously in the ground so be aware of that as part of that um but yeah if you aren't really bothered where it's going if it's just in the water somewhere then you don't really need to worry about this part but what we'll be doing is finding the middle of this square so that's the 19 by 27 block square 27 blocks going that way 19 going across this way um place a block directly in the middle of that and what we're going to do is we're going to go nine blocks back to find our starting point, as we can see here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's our nine blocks back. Now, for the materials, uh, I went with, well, pretty much using every wood except for acacia. So we've got dark oak at the bottom part here. I've then got spruce. I've got some red. I uh, also used oak, 
jungle and birchwood for my little bits of details. Up to you guys if you want to switch, mix and match, make the bottom part of it white or anything like that. I just wanted to go for something a little bit different and have wood at the bottom of it. So anyway, you're going to need a slab and a block. I'm going to be using dark oak slab and dark oak planks. So with your dark oak slab, just place that on the upper piece of that nine block. So there we go, we've got nine blocks back and then we have the slab, so it's number ten. Block number ten there. We're then going to have two plank blocks behind it. It's two there. On the side of this, we're going to have a dark oak slab. So just on the side, so you can only just see the uh, other part. Well, that doesn't really help. You can just see the, the plank underneath that one there. <laughs> then behind this, what we're going to do is we're going to have ten blocks going backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Like that. And on the other side, again, we're going to have a slab. And then ten blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And fill in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that. So what we'll do now is right on the back, grab our slab again, and we're just going to have a slab on the back of this bit here. Then we're going to have two blocks, one, two. Then we're going to have a slab on the back of that, so upper slab. Now we're going to switch over to spruce planks, and the only reason I've gone for spruce planks is so that the rudder stands out. So that's the only reason. Um, if I did this all in white, I would do the same with spruce planks again and have a, a nice different coloured rudder, rudder. I just think it looks better. So place down your block there, so spruce planks block if you want to do the same as me. Now just on this side, the only thing we need to do is put in a dark oak slab on the upper piece. And that gives us our layer number one. Okay, and now for layer number two, what we're going to do is we're going to need a stair this time. So I've gone with dark oak stair because I've gone with dark oak for the bottom. Of course, if you're doing white again, use like your smooth quartz or something like that. Uh, and we've also got spruce stairs as well. So those are the only two materials we've got that are extra. So what we're going to do first is just on top of this slab that we had on layer number one, place a full block of dark oak and then going forwards we're going to have an upside down dark oak stair just like this then what we're going to do is going to have a uh, dark oak slab on the upper piece of this block so just on the block not on the stair and then we're going to have two blocks of dark oak planks going back one and two which just goes on top of that slab that we had previously then what we're going to do is have a dark oak slab going out to the side of this one and then we're going to go back with nine blocks. So on the back of this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, like that. So we're just going to do the same on the other side to make it all nice and even. So just where we've got this block here, place a slab in. Then we're going to have two blocks going back, one and two. Then on the side of this, we're going to have a upper dark oak slab. So just on that block. And then behind this, we're going to have nine blocks of dark oak planks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, like that. Now, you can do on the interior, knock out these blocks here and put in slabs if you wanted to. I'm not going to just because it's a lot easier to tutorial it. Uh, if it's full blocks, it just makes a lot more sense, but you can do that uh, if you wanted that extra bit of space. Usually when doing in the interiors, I actually find that this can be a hindrance if you've got the slabs instead, because at least you can put like a chest or something on top of these, or fit something else in, and I, I think I put a barrel or something maybe on mine, I can't remember. But yeah, you can do lots of other things like that, so that's why I usually go with that. So if we go around to the back now, we're going to have an upper slab just on the end of this one, like that. Then what we're going to do is we are going to have a block in the back here, so one. Then we're going to go two and three in total, so three blocks back, one, two, three, like that. Now what we're going to do is go over to a dark oak stairs, and we're going to actually have them going in across the side like this. So not going back this way, going to cross like that, okay? For the back piece, grab your spruce stairs and just put that on top to finish up that rudder. And it means we don't have to put a block in on the back piece here at all. You can do if you want to, if you don't like seeing the rudder or anything like that. Um, it's, it's again, like, totally up to you guys. So on the back of here, we're just going to put in a slab. So we've got a slab on that piece. Then behind of that, we're going to have one, two, and three blocks. And again, you can put a slab in, slab in that piece. And then we're going to have our stair going across the side, just like that. And that finishes it up for layer number two. Okay, and now for layer number three. So what we're going to do, guys, is go to the front. And again, we're going to be placing a block on the last, on top of the last block. So that's going to be the stair that we've got, the dark oak stair that we've got sticking out. Just place on a dark uh, oak plank stair. Then with this, we're going to go forwards with a stair again. So we're starting to bring this shape up to this part here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a upside down stair on the side of this. So we get upside down stair on the side of the block. 
Might be easy to see on this side. Might not be. Who knows? Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to have two blocks of dark oak planks on the back of this. So one and two. So one, two. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to our spruce stairs. I'm going to do an upside down spruce stairs on this piece here. Um, and then we're going to have uh, ten spruce blocks behind this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So do the same on the other side. So spruce stairs on the side here. Then 10 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'll just talk very quickly about this. This I find is one of the best ways to do a transition between materials is if you've got a stair block or a slab and then having the other material behind it um, to then actually have it kind of merge in. Uh, because otherwise you get, and, and unfortunately with this one it did happen, but um, yeah this one you kind of get this kind of hard break and it looks like a really hard line whereas this looks a lot softer. Kind of transition. That's just what I find. So if you can do it, do it. That's what I was trying to get at. So anyway, what we're going to do now is right on the back, switch back over to our dark oak planks. We're going to put two blocks on the back uh, right here like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have another two blocks on top of the previous two just here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a dark oak slab. Then we're going to have an upside down stair. Then a slab like that. So here, two dark oak planks uh, just coming off the back of the other side and then another two blocks on top so that just gets the kind of back piece starting to uh, in, in this case you know curve and up and then out that's the idea that's what it's trying to do so it can support the cabin a little bit better but that is it for layer number three okay and now for layer number four what we're going to do guys is grab our spruce planks and place this on top of the last layer. So this is where we're fully uh, transitioning. So typically with ships, yeah, I've got dark oak and it's kind of got this kind of curve to it. Then I've got the spruces doing that. Then I've got the red doing that. So it's um, basically continuing that on. So we've got spruce starts in the middle and then goes to the uh, front and the back. <laughs> I was trying to think of what the words were. That's weird. Anyway, yeah, block of spruce directly on top, unless you want to change the materials around. Then put a upside down spruce stair on top of that one. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to have three spruce planks just behind this, so directly on top of the last layer like this. This will make more sense in a second. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a normal spruce stair on the side here, like this. And now if you grab an oak slab, we're going to be doing a little bit of the style that we've got on the front here. So what it is, is an upper slab on this piece here. Then we go to a uh, lower slab, and then an upper slab again. So just get this nice little pattern here, and we'll continue that, and we'll have that on the next level. Uh, we'll have another one up there, but it's just going down and up and down again, basically. So, yep, yeah, all we need to do here is put in a stair. So put in your spruce stair on the side here. So we go up, down, up, like that. So just to put in a little bit of detail on the front piece like that. Now what you guys are going to do is choose a coloured block, whatever you want. Uh, now I did do red, red, red terracotta before. Um, so I might go with, let's go with fire coral. Um, yeah, that. That actually works only on my server, that's not really a good one. So only because I've got a plugin to sort that out. Um, so yeah, grab a coloured block, doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to place down one block. We're also going to need an oak trapdoor or something on the side. So this is to do these like small holes. You could of course put cannons in, in these if you wanted to. No reason why not. And you could, instead of having them, uh, currently I've got them every three blocks. Uh, you could do them like every two blocks if you wanted uh, to have some cannons um, on the side of it on that, that lower deck. Totally up to you guys. Uh, we're then just going to place down any block and do a trap door and knock that block out. So I'm just using the block behind it purely to, to place it down. The reason that I've got it sticking out is because it adds a bit of texture to it. If you have it um, this way that you could do, it, it just tends to look flat. So do use a block behind it. We're then, then going to have three blocks of your colour, whatever that is. So one, two and three. And then another window. So I'm just going to place this on and get rid of that one. So three blocks in there. Another three blocks, one, two, and three, and then again a window, and not block, knock that one out. Then we're going to have one block of your coloured block, like that, and we're going to get rid of something. Let's get rid of our spruce stairs because we're going to need a spruce slab, and I'm sure we'll need the stair at some point as well. Uh, and we're just going to have a spruce slab on top of this one. Then we're going to have two blocks of your coloured block, like this. Um, sorry, no, that's wrong. Not there behind this one, there we go, it's behind the slab, then goes to the side here. This is actually going to be a window, so we're going to do that in a second, but again it's going to have a trapdoor on top of it, 
Then on the corner, just put in a red block or whatever other block you got. Leave this one, but put in another oak trapdoor. Then we're going to have a block. Again, we're going to have another window. Then we're going to have two blocks here. And we're going to continue it from this side. I always just find it easier doing it in the same way rather than doing it backwards. So, block of colour. Then you're going to place down another block to put an oak trapdoor on. Three blocks, one, two, and three. Then another block, put a trapdoor on, get rid of that block. Three blocks, one, two, three. And then you're going to do the same thing, another window. And just going to have one block of your colour. And then you're going to have a spruce slab on top of the dark oak bit that's sticking out. Just to kind of round that section off. So, what we can do now is grab some sort of window. Uh, I'm just going to go with a normal glass pane this time. And just plonk this in. So, place that in there. And that at least gives you the window for your cabin. You can, of course, go with fancier uh, type of you know windows. You could just leave this completely off if you wanted to. Um, there's loads of different things you can do. You know, it's it's totally up to you guys. I quite like messing around with different trapdoors depending on what the style is. I wanted this one to look really simple, so I went with the same kind of window design uh, going all the way through it. Anyway, grab an oak fence, and what we're going to do is just on the side of the windows, we're going to do an oak fence here, oak fence there, on the back, oak fence, oak fence. Then on the other side, oak fence and oak fence. So lots of oak fences, basically, is what's going on. Um, if you want to, you can start putting in the ladder and why not let's do it so where this window is here towards the front part of it this is where we're going to have the ladder and i put it down i think two layers yeah so i had it on the uh, spruce as well and i did the same on the other sides this is just in case anyone falls off they can get back in or if you've built it in survival or something like that and you need to get onto the ship uh well that is the best best way really isn't it so you can just jump up and be on your way apparently i can't get into a ladder anyway that's it for layer number four let's get on to the next one Okay, and now for layer number five. So what you guys are going to do is come to the front, and oh, first thing we're going to get to anyway is we're going to be putting a dark oak slab on top of this one on the upper piece. So put a block behind it, then have your dark oak slab on the upper right here. This is part of the bow spirit that's sticking out, so just to explain that, there you go. You can see the little gap in the side there. What we're then going to do with our oak slab is we're actually going to have an oak slab on the upper piece, which, again, we're going to have to place a block down for, and then put in your upper upper. Uh, sorry, lower, lower uh, oak slab on that piece there. It's just so that you get this this pattern going on. So there we go. Place that in there like that. Now what we're going to do is if we go to our red blocks, we're going to have three blocks of red on top of the last layer of the spruce. Then on the front, what we're going to do is going to have a jungle stair upside down. And then jungle stair upside down like this. This will leave a little gap. Uh, which is what we want, I think, actually, just thinking about it. Yeah, we do need a slab in there as well. We also need a dark oak slab down there as well. So there we go, before I forget about that. So there we go, we get that there. Then with our jungle stairs, we're going to have a stair here and a stair here. So two stairs on the sides of those bits like that. Put on the other side, two stairs there like that. Then what we're going to do is with our spruce planks, we're going to have a planks just on the back piece of the red here back piece of the red like that then on top of this red block here we're going to have a spruce slab so spruce slab on both of those there just like that now what we're going to do is we are going to have eight blocks of spruce planks one two three four five six seven eight nine eight eight blocks <laughs> not nine so one two three four five six seven and eight like that then grab your spruce slab again, and we're going to put this on the lower piece, like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have spruce uh, planks again, and we're going to go onto the side here. Yes, on purpose, for, the, for you guys that are noticing, that gap is not there. It's because we're going to fill that in with a bit of flooring in a bit, uh, and actually expose that block. So again, go out with your uh, spruce planks. So if you're looking at it from above, that's what you get. Then on top of the red, we're just going to have one more spruce planks. One more spruce planks like this. We're then going to get our jungle slab. And obviously we've got jungle stair now as well. And on top of uh, the block that we've got here, this slab, we're going to have on the lower piece a jungle uh, jungle slab. Then we're going to have a jungle stair. Then what we're going to do is have an, a, a slab on the upper piece here. So a jungle slab on the upper piece. Then we're going to have a stair. Now, same on the back, so we get a stair, upper slab, stair. So 
a stair, up a slab and a stair like that. Now what I did for mine is I had spruce wood on the top of these, so you can just put spruce wood in onto those because then you'll see the spruce on the top here. You could of course go with your coloured block or anything like that if you wanted to, so you can have it you know, fully, uh, for those bits being fully exposed and, and showing your colour through, why, why not do that, let's do that. There you go, so you can then see that as a whole kind of piece. It's totally up to you guys, so this is what it looks like without. You can see the kind of coloured bit in there. So it just looks like bits of it are painted. Uh, but it's totally up to you guys. You know, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Right, go over to your um, oak slabs now. And what we're going to do is just around the side here, we're going to have upper oak slabs going around this bit. So this is where that slab is. And we're going to bring this all the way to the front block here. So if we just bring this going around and join that across here and then bring this around here as well. Don't fill in the middle. Um, a lot of the middle we've got, um, well actually almost all the middle, you can even do that now. Let's switch over, so we're going to grab a, yeah, let's grab a barrel, let's grab stripe, uh, striped spruce wood, also going to grab spruce trapdoor and oak trapdoor as well. We're going we're to do this, let's get it done, because uh, it'll save us a tiny little bit of time. So what we're going to do is just uh, on the back, back kind of like piece of this, where we've got this, this kind of ring, uh, we're going to leave one block, and then we're going to go down, and with our strip, uh, stripped spruce wood, we're going to build that up till this layer, then we're going to plonk a barrel on top. Now with our spruce trapdoor, we're just going to place that here, so we can open up that like that. Then what we're going to do is grab our ladder, we might as well put this in, and plonk that in there, so you can now get into the hold from here. And for these bits, these five blocks we've got here, we're going to have oak trapdoors. And I'm going to have them again. You can place them down like that, but uh, I want to have it looking uh, like it's got a bit of texture, like it's got a bit of depth, and therefore have it sticking up. So that will give you the access to the hold that you've now got. So you've now got a way into the into the hold via the ladder, and also access to the hold, which you could obviously have some uh, ropes hanging off of the main mast, which you can use as like a crane type system. So guys, that is it for layer number five. All right, and now for layer number six, but before we do that, unfortunately, I've got a little bit to do a couple corrections on. So first things first is just on the front. Uh, these are not jungle stairs at all. These are just jungle slabs. We need to plonk those in there like this. And just switch these out. Sorry, folks. Uh, the only other thing that we need to do is also put in uh, the side piece here, which is where we're going to actually have the shrouds, which is just the, the kind of like rope that goes up to it on. So we're just going to have three slabs of dark oak uh, slabs on here. So one, two, three. Just on the back side of this. So one, two, three. There we go. Because so I got carried away with the flooring, didn't plan on doing it, and then somehow forgot how to do uh, absolutely everything else. Okay, and now for layer number six. So what we're going to do first, guys, is right on the front here is we're going to have an upside down stair like this. That's going to be jungle stair. Then we're going to have a upper slab in between that. Then an upside down jungle stair. Like that. So we get this nice little gap in here. Then on the sides, we're going to do the same thing. Or, or similar thing, actually. We're not going to do the same thing. We're going to have on top of the slab part, upside down stair, jungle. Then we're going to have a normal stair this time. So that's what I mean by it's not quite the same. Then an upside down um, jungle stair like that. Then right in the back here, we're actually going to need, I'm trying to find one, there we go, spruce stair. And just put a spruce, spruce stair on like that. Do the other side here, so we're going to have an upside down jungle stair. Then a jungle slab, uh, sorry, jungle stair, normal jungle stair, not slab. Then upside down jungle stair. Then a spruce slab in the middle here. Now if we grab oak slab, we're going to have a oak slab on the lower piece here, between these two. Then all of these are going to be upper to get that little bit of the front deck. Now if we go in and you guys don't like uh, this side here, feel free to just make these full blocks. And also with this big gap here, which you could have like an anchor or something, uh, feel free to like put a slab in there if you want to, or, or completely close it up. You know, you can always put a block in uh, behind that. It's totally up to you guys, whatever you want to do. So there we go, that gives you that nice uh, front piece, at least. So what we're going to do now is on the side here, go back to your spruce stair and we're actually going to have an upside down spruce stair on top of this one and then another one here but they're going to be 
facing each other, so upside down there, and then upside down there, so we get this nice little gap in between it. Same on the other side, so upside down stair here, upside down stair there as well. Then grab oak fence and also oak fence gate. So we're going to have an oak fence piece, two oak fence gates, and then an oak fence piece. So oak fence, two oak fence gates, then an oak fence piece. So this is just where, when you go onto um, the ship, if you want to, you know, obviously, you know, get rid of that. That's where you'd be boarding the ship effectively, where you'd be unloading things, and where you probably have it docked up to to connect to. So uh, yeah, it's quite a, quite a good bit. Then what we're going to do is, similar to the stairs that we had before, we're going to have an upside down stair here. Then an upside down stair here as well, just like that. Do the same on the back piece here, so stair there, and an upside down stair there, just like that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to have a spruce uh, planks block here, then a spruce stair, then we're going to have a spruce block. So we've got block, stair, block like that. That's how we get that bit. Then what we're going to have is an extra jungle slab on the bottom piece here. Then we're going to have a jungle stair upside down this way that then wraps around to here so we get this kind of interesting shape forming on this bit. Then like the front we're going to have a normal stair, then upside down, then we're going to have an upside down, then a normal stair, and an upside down. So we're going to have this same pattern that we've got on the front as on the back. So I quite like the look of that. I think that looks quite cool. So same on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to have that jungle slab, then another jungle slab, then an upside down jungle stair going that way that wraps around onto this piece here. Then we have a normal jungle stair and then an upside down jungle stair, just like that. Then grab your oak slab. Uh, all of this piece right here is going to be upper. So it's going to be on the upper piece here like this. And this one's also going to be upper, and then just this one here is going to be a lower slab. That's just the transition. So you can come up here, and then you get onto the upper back deck, whatever it's called. <laughs> I'm sure someone will know the actual name, as they always do. Uh, also in here, if you wanted to, you can, of course, you know, fill things in, or maybe leave that one. Um, then probably clean this bit up, perhaps like that. You know, do, do something if you want to. Uh, you could do leave that then for chests or whatever you want. You know, play around with it. Do what you like. But that is it for layer number six. Okay, and now for layers number seven and eight, basically finishing off the hull is really what we're doing. It's nice and easy. Grab a couple of materials that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a birch slab, birch stairs, oak button, jungle's trapdoor, uh, grindstone as well, which is what I've been using for the um, wheel. For some reason just confused then but yeah we're just gonna plonk that right in the middle of this square that we've got here uh, the reason it's there is because um, I couldn't fit it anywhere else without stopping people from being able to walk around it so that's that's literally it I mean you could put it like there for example but then you, you can't really freely walk you have to jump over it so that's why I went with the bit being right in the middle so that's the grindstone on the front what we're gonna do is we are gonna have on the sides here just going over the top of this one an upside down birch um, stair. Then we have a birch slab. I'm going to do the same here. So we get an upside down birch stair like that. In the middle of this, we're going to have a birch slab. And you guessed it, it's going to be the same for all of these other ones as well. So we get upside down birch stair, then birch slab, then birch stair, uh, upside down stair, yep. Then birch stair, slab, upside down stair like that so it's the same pattern all the way around to make this big gap then put your slabs on top of those like that now what we're going to do is we're also going to have a stair on the side here like this and here as well like that and on both of those sides there now what we can do with our buttons is i put them on uh, this side here so wherever the stair has that kind of like side to it and i put them on the front you could also put them on the side i just i don't know when i was looking at it this seemed to make more sense than having it on the side, so that's the only reason those buttons are there. Um, so there we go. Right, so the next bit what we're going to do is we're going to put our jungle trapdoor. We're going to put it going this way, and then I turn it around to this way because the bottom part with a little bit of metal is then going the other way. Again, it doesn't really matter that much. And same with these ones as well, so it's just so that it's on the outside. Uh, it's more of a style thing than anything else, uh, but that then gives you the like four castle type bit 
front of the ship, which is good. So now if we go over to the back, it's pretty much exactly the same uh, with just a couple tweaks. So if we start with the back piece here, we're going to have the upside down stair, then birch slab, then an upside down birch stair. Then we're going to have a slab on the top piece there. Same on this bit, so stair, slab, then upside down stair like that. Stair, slab, then a stair like that. Then put your birch slab on top of those ones. Then the different pieces here is because this bit's elongated, we're going to have a stair going this way, then a slab on the upper piece, and then a slab on the lower piece just to kind of get that so that it's angled as well. So we've got that there. Upper piece one, lower piece one like that. And then again with your jungle trapdoor, do it facing the slab basically is the way that you do it. Like that. And the only thing I did is I added in an extra slab on these two, uh, extra tra trap door on those two. So with your oak button, again I put them on these bits here. And on the back I put them on those bits there like that. So that at least gets you that back piece. You can always um, feel free to you know change up the back. Uh, I know one of the things that I keep on doing all the time is always doing this kind of shape. I'm putting an anvil in the back. Um, I do quite like it. It's just that I've decided with this one to go try and make it more basic. Try and make it like a simple trading ship. You know, it's not 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 got the kind of um, money hasn't been spent on it in order to make it really nice and fancy. That was my idea in my head anyway. But that's it, guys, for layer number seven and eight. Okay, and now we're going to get on to the masts. So we're going to be doing the four, uh, the front part of it, which is the bow sprit. I'm pretty sure it's called. I keep on saying bow spirit, but it's bow spirit and also the main mast, so it's a pretty simple uh, sail design on this one. So what we're going to do first is we're going to have an extra six slabs going out, so dark oak slabs, not including any of the ones that we've got already. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then we're going to end up and delete some. That's why I left the other ones in there, and to get it to kind of work out. So it's always a nightmare. There we go, just like that. That'll get you right to the edge of this box that we've got, this little plot that we've made ourselves. So the next bit up is going to be making the main mast. So this one is angled forwards and also the actual um, mast itself is going sideways for the main sail. So uh, what we're going to need is stripped spruce wood. We've already placed down that barrel, uh, which is the kind of starting block. So we're going to have to do a sneak and then a right click on this one. The reason being, if we just right click, we can't place the block. It does that instead so um, yeah sneak and if you're doing flying uh, if you hold down sneak and uh, the fly button at the same time in my, on, on the case of the PC it's shift and space then that will keep you in place and you can then click on into it just in case you didn't know that one we're gonna go up with eight blocks one two three four five six seven and eight like that then we're gonna have two barrels on top but what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna want the one of the barrels to be upside down so we put in the barrels here like this Put an extra one and come on under and again do that uh, sneak and fly at the same time so we can get this top texture onto it because that's what we want. We don't want the barrel texture. Then uh, going forwards what we're going to do is we're going to place a block and have two barrels. This time we don't have to worry about it because normal way of placing it has that texture underneath it. We're going to go up with four blocks. So one, whoops, good god. One, two, three, four like that. Oh, good God, that was terrible. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have the mask on sideways. So what we do is right on the front here, place a block, then have two on either side of this. We're going to replace that one with a barrel going sideways this time. And it's just to make it look a little bit different, like it's been tied up. Um, although, you know, admittedly the barrel looks more like a bit of metal around some planks, but, you know, whatever. Um, now, for me, what I do is I usually... Uh, it depends on where your, your wind is in your, uh, in your world, but, uh, you know... What I've got is mine going this way, this kind of direction at an angle. Uh, it just makes it look a little more interesting. All they're trying to turn and stuff like that. So what we do for here is go to this side. Go back one block and we go one, two, three, four, five. And then this side we go forwards. So one, two, three, four, and five like that. So it's all at a nice little angle. Then we're going to have four blocks on top of the mast here. So one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have a granite wall. So this is the closest block that I found for... Uh, tapering off the mast. Uh, so we're going to have two blocks of the granite wall and then two blocks of spruce fence. And you can of course put flags on it and stuff like that. I haven't done with my one. So the only next, uh, only thing we need to do next is actually we're just going to join up this to the bow, uh, bow sprit. So what we do here 
is go down one block and then put in an oak fence. And then what we're going to do is going to have it down, then out, then down, then out. And we're just going to zigzag it all the way down. So we're just zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. And we just keep doing this all the way down. It just take a little while, admittedly. Like this. And get that. Keep going. Keep going. Can't be that much further, really. <laughs> I always feel like it's further. Now, with this one, unfortunately, it doesn't quite line up properly, but uh, you can just put one down there. I always prefer it if it, it goes exact. Uh, but I didn't want to interfere with the sail on this. That's the main thing. But you could, if you wanted to, move it down if you wanted to, it, it, it to to land this block here, land on this slab here, but uh, it doesn't really matter. But that's it for the mast, so we're going to do the shrouds next, and then we'll get onto the most tricky part of it, which is the sails. Okay, and for the shrouds, what we're going to be doing is grab your birch fence. So first things first, we're going to be building it onto these dark oak slabs we placed before. So we're going to go one, two, three, just on top of that. We're actually going to be building this up by basically four blocks in total, so we've got another layer on top, that's two, and three, then four, like that. Now, just on the bits that are closest to the front of the ship, we're going to have these two here. are going to have um, extra fence on top of them. And then this behind here, we're going to have an extra fence behind it that then goes up like this. Okay. So now behind this, just put in an extra two fences. Like that. Then on top of this, just put three fences on top. One, two, and three. With this one that's at the back, we're going to add an extra uh, fence onto the back piece here, like that. And then what we're going to do is, just on top of that one, go back with three fences in total. And then just these front two are going to have an extra pieces of fence. This is where shrouds are always really difficult, and this seems to be a really difficult one. So sorry, guys. If you do have to slow down the video, YouTube does allow you to do that, which is awesome. So uh, feel free to use that. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, just to delete this one back here, get rid of that one, because uh, that one we don't actually use. So what we're going to do now is, just on this one, we're going to go all the way up, and remember to shift and fly and click to get that one to go all the way up to that barrel there. On the side of this, again, we're also going to build this one down, but it doesn't go back down to this one. Instead, here, what we do is we have an extra fence on top of this one, and an extra fence on top of this one. We're actually going to put an extra fence right here as well to build that one up. So it's a really weird kind of uh, set of shrouds. Now what we're going to do is just build this fence going right up to where the mast is. So that's what you get for that. It is complicated, guys. So if you do need to rewatch it and pause the video or um, slow down the video, anything like that, you know, feel free to do so. We're going to be doing it on the other side now. So again, three of your fences just directly on top. This is going to be four high in total. So build up another couple layers, so one, two, three, four. Then what we've got is on the back piece, we're going to add an extra fence, but that's the only one we do that piece onto it. On the front two, we're going to add an extra two there. Then with this back one, we're going to put a extra fence on top and then bring that back so it all joins up just like that. And I'm having to look myself on the other side because I'm getting very confused as well. Then what we do is we're going to build this one up again, so one, two, and three like that. On the back one again, we're going to add an extra fence on the side here. So just going backwards, just for that piece. And with the front part of it, or, or with this one here, we're going to build an extra fence on top. Bring that back, so it joins in. And then bring that to join onto here. Then onto the side as well. Now what we're going to do is just this one, we're going to build up to the top of the uh, barrel here. So build that one all the way up to the top like that. And I'm going to have to have a look. Sorry, folks. Three. There we go. So an extra two fences on this one. Like that. And I'm having to look on this side as well. And then here we have an extra fence on this one here. Extra one here. And build this up. All the way to the mast. There we go. So that now matches. That is quite complicated. I'm really sorry, folks. Yeah, so some of these are, or, or most of the time, they aren't that complicated, but sometimes they do just get quite complicated. And you can, of course, make it a lot simpler than that. Uh, really, you're just trying to get to this top, top point here, and it's just how you get there, really, uh, by moving it in uh, gradually. So there we go. That's it for the shrouds.
All right, so now we're going to get on to the main sails. And I'm here on my world where I've actually plonked it down. Um, I've actually got mine tied up. So this is where I was saying about the open piece as well, just for, for interest. That's where I've got my actual slabs uh, going onto the main pier of this one. It's been an angled pier. Um, and if you do want to tie them up, the easiest way is to um, yeah, basically have lots of your wool kind of going across the sides here and then try and layer it underneath so you get it bunched up more in the middle as if it's being tied off at the ends and it's just drooping on this middle part of it. That's the kind of thing that I usually go for for those. Um, you can also, uh, something I haven't actually done on mine, but you can also, if you wanted to, tie this back as well with actually having some fences in there. Something I usually do, which I um, haven't been doing recently. I don't know why. Just maybe I don't like the look of it anymore. But you can then have that there. But anyway, guys, let's jump over to the main world. And we're going to get started on the full actual sails themselves. So here's our version of the ship right here. So in terms of sails, this is an organic process. Uh, there is, it's not going to be the block by block kind of bit that you guys have been seeing uh, lately. So it is a bit difficult and it's very difficult to explain and I've not figured out a really easy way to do it. And if anyone ever has any easy way of doing it, then let me know. But effectively what we're going to be trying to do is making it look organic, like the wind is blowing them. Because of that, it turns out different every time I do it. Sometimes it's better than the last time I did it. But the basic technique is this. So what we do is when you've got um, your main mast and it's angled, this helps a lot to make it more interesting. Um, if you grab some white wool or something like that, you can of course mix and match materials. Just bring it forwards by one block. So like this. And we're going to make a very flat, very boring sail. And then we're going to be shaping it a little bit more. So bring that exactly there. We're then going to go out and down and we're going to have two blocks this time. like this. Now again, sorry guys for those that are in survival because you then have to play around with lots of different things. It's it's a real pain in survival. So now I'm going to go down. I'm going to go with three blocks. Let's give that a go. And again, this isn't exact uh, exact science at all. Uh, it's literally just random. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's trying to apply a bit of a method and then seeing how we can use that simple method to then make it look really nice. Uh, looking at the sail, I'm actually going to go go out again. So I'm going to go out again, this time with three again. So three blocks out. Apparently I went too far with that one. And bring this in. And we do at some point, very soon, make, need to make sure that we go back in as well. So there we go. So this is your base sails, your simple sails. Okie dokie. So if we start making our way in again, I'm going to bring it backwards and do two blocks. Try to do it there, bring that forwards. And what we're basically doing with this is we're taking a uh, very basic sail that would have looked really, really boring on the if it was a completely straight mast, because it would have just been straight good across, and trying to make it look a little bit more interesting. Um, we're also going to go with one as well, back here, just as the last bit. And we can then use this as our base for shapes. So, as you can see with this one, um, you basically start to shape everything. There's a couple different things that you want to do. You want to have this kind of curve going up like this, so we can use the little end bits of the sails there. Same in the bottom as well, you can then have that there. Uh, because of that bottom sail part of it, you can actually make the sail go a lot further down than you would have expected. Uh, would have wanted. So this one, we've only got two block gap here, but because when we're going to be cutting into it, um, we're actually probably not going to have that. Uh, you also want to have curves going this way and a curve going that way, and we want to have places where the wind is blowing into it. Now because we've angled the mast, that makes it a lot easier. You want to try and break up these big uh, gaps. This is really bad. This, this It just looks terrible. So the easiest thing to do is of course to just push this forwards like that, and you might then push this one here. You might have a couple extra blocks in here. So you try to break up these uh, like 90 degree angles. And we're going to go there as well. This one we're going to push backwards because you can either push you know, backwards or forwards or whatever. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to push this one forwards. We're going to do something else a little bit here, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. That looks terrible. <laughs> so you, you'll, you'll kind of get a, an idea of what looks good and what doesn't. 
and unfortunately it is one of these um, trial and error type of uh, type of ways of doing things. So here, pinch it in as well. So you know, don't have it all all just going out constantly because it doesn't make any sense. Whereas if you've got some ropes on the edge of these, which you would do, that will then pull the sail back. So you also want to try and make that look look good. So yeah, you've got to be got to be aware of a couple different things going on. So with this, I'm actually going to just put this out here and go down and out like that. And the same on the top as well. I'm actually going to push this bl block back here and then go out. Like that, perhaps. Something like that, anyway. That'll do for now. Doesn't look quite good, but that's because of this, I think. Yeah, that one going up. There we go, that'll do. And we could probably also do, if you're doing this part of here, pulling this one back, putting an extra block in here will definitely help. Sometimes it needs to be underneath, though. Like that one does. There we go. So now we get a little bit more of a, a curve kind of bit going on here. It's not quite there, but you kind of get the idea, hopefully. Um, so there we go, like that. Let's go on to the other side now. So again, breaking up this area. And you just do, do, it, do it section by section, you know. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm actually going to push this back a little bit here. So I have like this here. And then that's a really horrible right angle. Get rid of right angles. Don't want them. Have that there, and I can pinch this into here, and here, and here. It's all being brought back. Like that. Same with this one, and we're going to go down as well. Something like that. This looks a little bit bad, so we're going to just tweak all of these sides here. Put that there. Put that in there. We've got space to play with with this one so I can really you know do quite a few little bits and bobs with it and so then pull that one back and that'll really help with the shape of it. I'm just gonna do that there because I can pull these back even further as well which is quite nice. <laughs> but then by doing that I've caused some right angles so there we go get to shape that as well. So this one pushing that one back there just to make that a little bit more rounded. There we go that looks pretty good. So you can see it's different but it's got the same kind of uh, designs, same kind of shapes going on with it. And that's always a good thing. So that looks kind of good. There we go. So you can, yeah, put in your oak fence behind this. Maybe from there as well. Why not? Like that if you want to. So let's have a look at that. So what have we got to do? We've got to cut it because remember that shape going down to here? I haven't got that yet. So the easiest way is to go into the middle and just cut a couple blocks like that. And we can also just have, for where that occurs, have just the fences showing. And I think we can do a little bit more cutting it into there as well. Yeah, and then the same with the bottom piece as well. What we'll do, I'm actually going to cut this here, move this around a little bit like that then. We get a nice, there we go, look at that, that looks loads, loads better. Just adds a little bit more into it. You can, of course, um, you know, get rid of bits further down here as well, if you wanted to. There's no reason why not. I can even get rid of that block now, which was one that was annoying me. Um, I think for this one, actually, it just doesn't look quite right, so I'm going to add that back in there. So there we go, we get that. And that looks pretty good. Um, you can put a front sail onto it as well. I haven't, I've just gone with the main square rigged one. Um, so if you did want to do a front sail, you know, you can do the same, similar kind of things that you've got here and move it away from here. Let's do a little bit of variation on this. Why not? Why not make it different than the one I've actually done? So if you're doing these, you know, you can just layer these up and have this coming out. And this is a very basic way of doing it. Uh, but then what we want to do is then start to have this being quite pulled as well. So you can do something like that if you wanted to. Um, I think the problem is that it doesn't, it, it kind of interferes a little bit too much in, in my mind, with the main sail. And because of that, it looks a bit messy. But you can, you can kind of get the idea of what you can do if you wanted to. And then you can, of course, have this tied somewhere. And we're actually going to get it tied to that block is where we're going to be aiming for. 
So have something like that. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. So, you know, you try and get, get a nice shape. This one doesn't make any sense. So I'm just going to move that, get that down there. So we've now got a little bit more of a curve going this way, a bit more going that way. So it doesn't look too bad. Um, you know, that kind of works as well if you wanted to do that kind of a sail on it. Um, you can, of course, do other loads of variations on this uh, with this mast. You know, having, um, I can't remember the, the sail name, usually I look it up before doing the tutorial, but having like a, a back sail to here and then having that going up to there, so you can end up having another bit of a mast going out to here, have a bit going out to there, uh, kind of like what you get on Briggs, I can't remember what they're called, they're a tool. But if you wanted to do more of that, or you can keep it simple, like we've got here. But yeah, guys, so let's go and have a look at the interior. Alright guys, so let's have a quick look at the interior that I've got for it. So um, yeah, only tweak that I've actually done already, because I didn't have an interior before um, before finishing the tutorial, surprisingly. I've put on the front sail and kind of put that up, because I actually quite liked it. I liked it uh, being up on that, on the one that we did in the tutorial. Um, so yeah, the deck is filled with stuff, just generally stuff. It's a trade ship for mine. Uh, it's coming to port to, of course, unload its goods, to sell some of its goods. Uh, maybe it's doing, you know, uh, got some stuff in the warehouses that we've got in Lordsport, etc. and so forth. So lots of things everywhere. Um, so that's from uh, chests, uh, flower pots as well, barrels, uh, beehives I quite like as these like, you know, lighter kind of crates. I kind of see them as that. Looms as well, kind of a generally pretty good block um, to have. So if we have a look in the hold, uh, it's quite small. But I've split mine into two main sections, well, three main sections if you count the cabin as an entire section. Um, and that's just split on where we've actually got the mast coming down. So in the back here, or in the front even, uh, where we've got the uh, oak trapdoors, uh, I've put obviously a lantern at the top there, that would uh, nicely ping off. But uh, yeah, we've got a nice little lantern in there, we've got all of the different types of materials. So this is all the kind of storage stuff that they've got, lots of water. Uh, around as well because of course they would need fresh water when going out as well as any food supplies those kind of things when making their journey um, Now with mine. I didn't have any cannons on it because I went with a trade one uh, However, these kind of holes would also be used where the crew would put oars in so that's to uh, Of course steer it by manpower rather than sail power uh, if they wanted to especially coming into port things like that They they probably wouldn't want the sails. If there's a strong wind So yeah, that's that's this nice little section here. It's just filled with stuff uh, in the back when you come down this section, because it's a, a kind of separate section, it's not uh, got the, the main bits where we can get cargo through. Um, this is where I decided to put the crew quarters. Uh, crew quarters very, very cramped. We've got three different, um, three levels of a uh, of beds. Uh, small little table type thing here. Uh, and in the back, the captain's cabin, which is absolutely tiny. You even have to shift uh, to crouch to get underneath it because of the slab that we've got here. Uh, in here, we just have a bed. And <laughs> you can hardly see it. Two chests either side. So, uh, and, and a nice little lantern. So that's all there is, really. And you have to sneak and get out of it that way. So simple little interior, but it is a simple little ship. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one.